Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to uh, create an example and there we will try to understand what is entity and value type object in Hibernate. So project already I have created and few files are there itself which I had copied from my previous project. And these files are pretty straightforward. First file is Hibernate Util and these things already we have covered how we can create this utility class from scratch. Uh, we have a hibernate cfd.xml right which contains all the information about the database and uh, finally we have a uh, entity class which is binded with the employee underscore table right and uh, here is the client program there i am trying to create an employee by calling uh, session save method and this will return us the generated primary key and that's we are trying to print right so that's pretty straightforward. Now here, uh, if you look into the entity class, then all the fields which is inside the entity class is uh, simple uh, value type object, right? It's a simple object. Now what if if your employee object contains some kind of uh, object type, like uh, custom object type, like address, right? Then an address is having its own property right so let's create this address of a uh, class as well so here I'm going to create address in model class model uh, package and here what I'll do this class already I have created so just I'm gonna paste it so this class is having a uh, four property a street or uh, state city state and pin code and uh, corresponding uh, public center getter methods right and now so here if you look into the entity class then uh, and here we have declared address so so we can as uh, create a set address and get address as well get address right now what i do so here if you look into the address so this is considered as a value type because uh, uh, if you look into the other property, all property uh, in this class is uh, mapped with the individual column, right? But uh, there is no column for the address, right? Because uh, address is having its own property, right? And uh, address is basically embedded object inside a uh, uh, employee. And that's the reason uh, I'm going to annotate this variable as at the rate. Uh, embedded right and what I want uh, whatever fields uh, you look in the entity class and cross and we have given the corresponding column this column should become the part of the employee table itself and uh, existence of uh, address depends on the employee right when, uh, when I say uh, address means whose address right some employee address if employee doesn't exist then there is no meaning of address right so we'll elaborate these things uh, what i'm telling you right now but first let's complete this practical example now here we will have to annotate this variable as at embedded and uh, go to the address class and this address class must be annotated as at embeddable right and uh, now let's go to the client program and here we are using the database mysql and our schema is test so nothing is inside the table as of now now here I'm going to create an address object, something like this address, address, welcome new, address, right? And address is having four properties, so all four properties we have to set like CT. I'm gonna set as Chennai. Now next property we have pin code so that you can set some fake pin code that is type of long now let's set state Tamil Nadu so that should be in double quotes now what else uh, we have a street now let's say Park Street, right? Now this 
address reference we have to set in the employee right so I have to set address and address is my set now if I run this application then see how its table is getting created and how, how value values are getting inserted now you can see hibernate has created a table is called employee table and this is the owner table right uh, and address is just within the employee and uh, properties uh, which comes from the address and corresponding column is now part of this uh, employee table right this four uh, column comes from the address itself and uh, rest of the columns are uh, a specific to the employee table so table is created based on the specified metadata here like a city name we had specified the length as 50 a street 50 a street name everything so based on the specified metadata uh, employee table is created now one insertion happens in the employee table itself and uh, if you look into the database if i refresh it then you can see employee table is created with this information right so now ct in code state and street name that becomes the part of the uh, employee table itself right now some of the things we have to understand over here and now here uh, now here employee class have a field address object right and this means in the database there are no meaning for the address object right because address is having own properties right as this address object uh, in turn have four other fields like a street city a state and zip code now the question is how uh, we save this address object into the database right so uh, a concept is called value object one of the saving the address object is to treat the member variable of the address object as a member variable of uh, employee object itself here without having an employee object the use of address object does not make any sense right so the purpose of address object is to just provide value to the employee object and this is what differentiate an entity object and a value object right entity object is one which have meaning on its own right uh, where value object has no meaning on its own the value object belongs to an entity instance and its persistence state is embedded in the table row of the owner entity so here our owner entity is employee and address is our uh, value object and uh, the existence of address is basically uh, exists within the employee and that is owner entity right in this example the employee does not uh, employee object represents an entity object and address object represents a value object now in order to make this class of value type and in order to tell hibernate not to uh, create a separate table for address class i have you can see i have uh, used at 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 embeddable annotation in the address class and also we need to use uh, we need to use uh, embedded annotation in the member variable of a address object in entity class so that's all i wanted to cover in this video i hope you enjoyed learning this video in next video we will see some more concept about the value object so thanks for watching this video and you will get this code on the github and see you in next video tutorial